You know, in my family and among my friends, they used to say I was the luckiest person they knew. Now, I'm not too sure about that, but I've got to admit, I've had my fair share of luck in this lifetime. Now, this story takes me back to the fifth grade, the year we had that D.A.R.E. program. You remember D.A.R.E., right? It's when the cops come to school and teach us kids about saying no to drugs and all that important stuff. Well, let me tell you about a day that luck was on my side. The whole week leading up to that day, I couldn't stop talking about it. See, they were holding this big drawn, giving away all sorts of prizes to us fifth graders, and the grand prize, well, it was a stereo. There was something about winning that stereo that just had me convinced. Now, nobody believed me, though. I'd go on and on about how I had to be there when they pulled those names out of that hat, because I knew deep down that stereo was going to be mine. They just laughed it off and thought I was being a bit too optimistic. But the day came, and there I was, sitting with all my classmates waiting for that drawn. You could feel the excitement in the air, and I had this grin on my face like you wouldn't believe. My heart was racing, and I just knew this was my moment. The teacher started pulling names, and one by one, they called out winners for the smaller prizes. I'll admit, I was a bit antsy, but I kept telling myself, Parker, your luck is about to shine. And then it happened. They reached into that hat, pulled out a name, and I swear, it felt like time slowed down. I heard him say, the winner of the grand prize stereo is... And there it was, like a melody from the heavens. Parker Palmer! I shot up from my seat with the biggest, most triumphant grin you ever did see. My friends couldn't believe it, and the teachers, well, they were just as shocked as the rest. But I knew. I knew that stereo was meant for me. I walked up there to claim my prize, and let me tell you, holding that stereo in my hands felt like holding the world. I was on cloud nine, basking in the glory of my own luck. So you see, whether it was a stroke of good fortune or just sheer luck, that day I proved to them all that sometimes you've just got to believe in your luck and go for it.